Hi everyone, welcome back to G Physio Pilates. I'm Gabby. Today I'm going to show you my surprise video on four exercises of what to do when you're isolating or quarantined. In the UK, we're only allowed to do one exercise a day when we're outside, so in my head that's not enough. See, I like a nice routine, I like to do stuff in the day. So these exercises are great when you've just woken up or need a bit of a pick-me-up for the day. So please get, keep a comment and let me know how you get on, but let's do some exercises. Now, first exercise we're gonna do is we'll be in standing. I'm gonna start off with a lovely squat. So, feet hip width apart. We're gonna bend the knees and bring the bum back, the chest nice and tall. We're gonna bring the bum back, chest up, and go as far as you can go. Some people can go really low, some people can't go low at all. But what you've got to make sure you're not doing is you're not doing that. That's a bad squat, that's a big no-no. You need to have your chest nice and tall, hands in front, bum back, and coming back up. To make it harder for the people that have lost the gym and they want a bit of weight is grab a backpack, put books in it, put anything you can to make it heavier. But we're doing 25 together, and this is a nice one just to get your thighs and your bum working, and it's a good one to, just to keep your lower limb functional. Because unfortunately, most people, especially me at the moment, we're sitting too much because there's nothing else to do. So unfortunately, I have been watching a bit more Netflix. Ooh. <laughs> but we're just doing 25, so we've got a few more to do. Make sure you're breathing as well, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And it's a great one just to get your legs working. Five more guys, five more. Four, three, two, and hold for me. So we're holding this for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we're pulsing for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly up. Give your legs a shake. Great. So that was my first exercise. Second one will be a lunge, but we're going to add a few modifications for a lunge. Now, a lot of people, when they do lunges, they bring their front knee too far forward. So we're going to go backwards now, with the left leg going backwards. We're going to start off with a stance position, you're going to bend your front knee. Now the front knee is not allowed to go over the ankle. Now if you need to hold on, do do so. We're going to bend from the behind, so the left knee is now bending and you're positioning yourself so that you're balancing, so you're using both legs equally. Just go for where you can go. So we're going up and down, up and down. And I'm not expecting you to go all the way down that you're touching the ground, but you've got to make sure that the knee does not go over the ankle. So we're going as far up as we can go, far down as your body goes. But make sure you're using correct weight. And this is where I miss my mirror. I love having a big mirror in the gym where it's working the muscles really well. Just five more guys, five more. Four, three, two, one. Perfect. Bring the left leg there, give it a shake if you need to. Right leg's going behind you, as far as you're happy to go. We're going to bend the right knee, make sure the ankle's nice and happy, and the left knee's not over the, the knee, the ankle. We're going down as far as you're letting, the body lets you go. We're going down, head nice and tall, up nice and tall. A bit clicky today, so I don't know if you can hear me clicking away. That's my ankle. <laughs> We're going as far down, Without moving the chest, so you've got to keep the chest nice and tall, as far as you can go. Ooh, feel the burn. Feel the burn in those legs. 
So you've got five more. So five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Give it a shake. Now comes my modification. So you're going to bring your leg, your right leg, we're back on the right, so we're bring the left leg. Instead of going backwards, I want it to go to the right. So with the left leg, you're going to the right, and then we're moving the right leg. When you're doing this, you've got to make sure that when the right leg goes to the side, you're using the weight equally in both feet. So it's a nice one just to get your leg muscles working and your inner thighs working more. Because unfortunately, the inner thighs do lose their shape if you don't do exercise on them. We're just doing a few more. Making sure I'm breathing. In for the nose. Out for the mouth. Great. Last two. Come on guys, don't give up. Lovely jubbly. Okay, give it a nice little shake. So we've done completed two exercises. Now I want you on the ground. So we're gonna lay down on your back. And you just, I want you to straighten your legs, hands above the shoulders. I want you just to bring your hands towards your feet. So you're going to roll up. So you're going to put your chin tucked in. Nice rolls up. And then you're going to roll down nice and slowly. Making sure these are slow. Because the slower you move, the more these muscles work. And this is really working the tummy and then your four thighs as well. And we're doing just a few. Nice and controlled, nice and controlled up. Real. Now, you can stick to this level, that's absolutely fine. To make it harder, I want you to open your legs. So you bring your legs into a nice stance position, a nice Y. And then we're doing the same thing. So even if you can't get up, don't worry. You're just using the muscles get back up. So we're going down nice and slowly and back up nice and slowly. It's just a nice way to use the hip flexors even more, making the thigh muscles work. And I think I'm going a little higher. Actually, let's go down lower. Lovely. And we're going back up. Nice and controlled. And if you find that's too hard for you, of course, you can always stick to just bending the knees just doing what you can. Can I have five more from whichever level you've chosen? Whichever one you put your leg position in. We can even do one of each just to change it up. Perfect. Well, let's do one more for luck, guys. One more for luck. Brilliant. Give your legs a nice little shake. Almost done. Now my fourth, last exercise I think you should do every day is a plank. I know most people don't like it when I say plank, but it's such a good exercise. It does your tummy, does your back, does your legs and your arms. So it does more than one thing, which is always a bonus. So it's a combo. So level one for my planks will be, you're on your tummy, Elbows underneath your shoulders, and all I want you to do is bring your foot bum off the ground. You've got to make sure that your back is nice and straight. I don't want your bum all the way up because then you're using your hamstring. It has to look nice and straight. Level twos, you're going to go from the toes. So you're going to go tuck the toes underneath, lift yourself up for a nice straight line. As easy as that. And then level threes, you put your hands next to your chest, toes tucked in, coming up and hold. A good straight line, bum not high or too low, it has to be controlled. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna choose one and we're gonna hold it for 45 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna count this with us. 
with you. So, choose the one you want to go for. I'm going to go for level two because I find level two a little bit harder than level three. It depends on your muscles, what you've got developed and what you don't have developed. So, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. And then come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Don't give up. Don't give up, guys. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, relax into child pose stretch or even just shaking your arms. Well done everyone, you've done my four exercises to keep you a bit more sane in this time of need. Please like the video, subscribe and give me a comment. But of course keep safe and I hope you have a good day.